Welcome to the Proof One Essentials How Do I video series. Today we answer the question, how do I create a filter? Now before we get started, let's talk about how you can use filters. Uh, you can use filters to avoid delivery of unwanted emails, um, i.e. a blacklist. You can use filters to ensure the delivery of emails from external parties, i.e. a whitelist, and therefore avoid any spam filters from being applied. Uh, you can also create filters to avoid delivery of emails with executables, also force TLS connections on mail routing. Now, filters can be created by end users, which will apply against themselves. They can also be created by organization admins, and in those cases, the scope can be applied against the organization, a particular group, or an end user. You're going to want to go to your Proof One Essentials login screen and put in your credentials and log in. Now, you're going to, by default, show up in the Company Settings and Profile tab. We want to select on the Filters tab. Now, if this is the first filter you've ever created, you're going to see a screen that looks like this, asking you to create your first filter. Now, there's a few things you'll want to do. First thing is you'll want to give the filter a name. So I'm going to create a, uh, a filter for whitelisted domains. So I'm going to type in a name here. The direction by default is inbound, which is what we want. The scope is the company. Now, also, you can see here you can select users and groups. The priority is normal. Now I go down to the Rule Builder section, and the condition I want to choose is the sender address, so I select that option. And once I select that option down below at the Rule Narrative, it starts to change. Now if it's the sender address is, so I click the Click to Edit, and this is where I enter in the, the good domains. Now if you want to wildcard an entire domain, the syntax is star at. If you want to add in multiple values, just put a comma in. Hit the Add Address button. And then you're going to want to change this operator here from its default, which is Is. If you click it once, it chooses It's Not. If you click it again, it'll choose Is Any Of. Now, because this is a whitelist, I need to skip Spam Filter. And then there are some optional actions here, for example, hiding logs. In this case, it doesn't necessarily apply, so we'll leave that alone. So now we have a name. We have the appropriate scope across the organization. It's inbound. Let's go ahead and hit Save. Now, once you hit Save, it's going to create the filter. To view the filter, just click on the Filters page, and now you're going to see this, uh, this new filter that we've created. You can edit the filter by clicking the Edit button. You can delete the filter and start over by hitting the Delete button. And you can also enable or disable it. By hitting the disable option, it will be in disabled state, and then you could re-enable it. Now let's add one additional filter. In this case, we'll do a blacklist of domains. Once again, the scope is going to apply to the company. We're going to want the sender address. We're going to put in the domains, star at Hit the Add Address button, change the operator from Is to Is Any Of, select the Quarantine, and the Hide Log option will make the message doesn't show up in the Quarantine, doesn't show up in the Logging. Therefore, your users have no way of seeing this message. Got all the details, I hit Save. And now if I click on the Filters button, you'll see I have two filters in place. So you can apply this logic and create all sorts of uh, interesting rules, depending on what your needs are, but that should get you started. Thank you so much for watching the Proofpoint Essentials How Do I Video series.